Imagine you're setting up a small cafe and want to ensure every customer has a positive experience. You've got the perfect ambiance, delicious coffee, and friendly staff. But one more thing can make or break your customer's experience and your business, a reliable and efficient network. This is where quality of service, QoS, comes into play. In this first of a two-part episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll explain why QoS is important and how it can benefit your business, next. QoS is a feature in networking that prioritizes certain types of data traffic to ensure that the most important data gets through quickly and efficiently, even when the network is busy. Using QoS, you can ensure that essential services run smoothly, even during peak usage times. This can be a game changer, especially when different types of data traffic are competing for a limited bandwidth. When running a business, it can help ensure that important calls aren't dropped, purchases aren't delayed, and security cameras can stream without interruption. For a customer, a reliable connection can significantly enhance their experience, making them more likely to return and to recommend your business to others. In essence, QoS helps in managing your available bandwidth more effectively, ensuring that important tasks get the resources they need without unnecessary delays. Many Cisco Business Class devices come equipped with QoS feature options. They can be enabled through the web user interface. QoS works most effectively when it is set up on all the network devices that support it, so the important data is prioritized from start to finish. This involves steps like classifying different types of traffic, marking them for priority, and managing bandwidth through techniques like shaping and policing. These detailed configurations help ensure that the network performs optimally and meets various data demands. Depending on the equipment, a network can have multiple VLANs. In a scenario where one VLAN needs to have priority for the bandwidth, you could configure different QoS settings on that VLAN to make sure it is given priority. This could reduce the risk of downtime and maintain smooth business operations. Click the link in the description for part two, where I'll explain some specifics and show an example of how to set up QoS on a Catalyst 1300 switch. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.